Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah here from The Automator. And today, actually Isaiah, he had this really interesting thing he saw, um, but then there was some other terminology that I thought was interesting, the legacy assignment. And so we thought we'd go ahead and make a short video on this. Yeah. So uh, basically in our hotkey version one, you have two ways of assigning variables. One is with the equals operand, and the other one is with either, either with the column equals or if you put a dot equals, let me show you. So basically, here you can see a normal assignment. And this is what we call legacy assignment. It is legacy because it is deprecated. We don't want to use it anymore. So far, so far as you can, just don't use it. OK? But there are some instances where I would use this. When you have quotation marks like this, it makes it easier because it's you just so use equal. That is a string, you hit run, there you go. You have your, your, your string with your quotation marks on it. That's what the legacy assignment is and what it does. But here's the problem. If you say five plus five, right? Sorry. You are not gonna get 10 in there because that is actually a string. It's treated as a string the whole time. So there is no operations going on in there. Now, Again, deprecated, try not to use it unless you really need to. The way how you do it is with the column equals. Now that is an expression and now you're gonna get the expected value, which is 10. And you can use dot equals to append and many others plus equals and other ways. Yeah, and you could wrap this example right there. You could wrap and double quote simply. However, your first one, because it had the double quotes in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It is a pain, it is a pain of, if you have this here, so if you want, if you have that and you put it as this, and now you want all that as a string, it gets a little bit hairy because all the quotation marks must be escaped now. And the only way to escape it in version one is having double quotes for now. So that makes it that it is a very annoying thing. Um, you can still get the result, but that's it. Now, legacy. Uh, <laughs> uh, assignment and our main topic of the day. What happens is that, again, this is a string. I'm expecting a string. That's what I'm getting, fine. But there is something that modifies the legacy assignment and converts it into an expression, maybe without you knowing. And that is adding a modifier key to a variable. So a variable can be like this. And I don't know if you know that in, in AutoHotKey version one, you can create a variable as a super global by using the global keyword right next to it. What that means is that if, for example, if I have this function and now I use, notice that I just put the message box inside a function. Right. If so I run my function, right? So if I, if I run my function now, I put a return in here, the message box is going to be empty because the scope of, of this variable is within the braces and there is no variable for my bar defined in there. Now, if I want my global variable to be accessible within all functions, you do what is called a super global, which is this. You make it global outside the function and now all your functions can access it. Now, here's the tricky thing. That is what I call I don't know if that's the correct term, but that's a modifier for the variable. It modifies whether it's the scope modifier, whether it's local, global, those kind of things. Now, this equal sign, remember that the legacy assignment makes that a string. Well, it so just happens, it just happens that as soon as you use the global keyword here, that is not a legacy assignment anymore. That is actually expecting uh, uh, an expression right next to it. And now that expression that I just have there is an object, a literal, uh, an object literal, which means that right now I'm assigning an object to that variable, not a string. That threw me off. That, that was a surprise to me. Right now, if I run my code, I'm going to get an empty variable again, but not because it's empty, it's because it's an object. So now to access the keys, I would just use the dot notation and now we'll be able to access stuff in an object, which is really weird because this is actually an equal operand as a legacy assignment, which is not. And that happens with any other 
um, keyword that you might use, static, for example, if I want to make my static variable inside my function, just to not define it over and over again. If you do this, you're actually assigning an object again, because again, this is not legacy assignment anymore. So I, I thought that was a very interesting concept that we should keep in mind that now if I do this, if I remove the static keyword, then this is going to be empty because that doesn't exist. Right, now it's back and to if, a string. Yeah, it's back to a string. So be careful with that. <laughs> and you're changing that assignment uh, uh, a little bit without you knowing just by using a modifier as I just showed. Which, which is one of the reasons why, you know, version two is coming around and we're getting rid of these little kind of nuances that can trip you up. Yeah, right. that what? is right. And <laughs> that is right. So in general, I think uh, I, I just mentioned I had a, a post regarding that in the forums recently. And Lexicos in the end basically told me, oh, that's because you're doing it wrong. Stop doing it that way. <laughs> just use the correct way. And I'm like, OK, if I'm doing it the wrong way, why am I not getting an error, right? That is the issue with version one. There's a few things that you might do that are weird, they're not expected, and out of hot key is not, not going to tell you anything about it. It's just going to go ahead and run it. <laughs> well, just the other day, I forget what we were working on, but we were doing something uh, in version one, and you had changed one of your variables by mistake. The name, and we didn't realize it. And you're like, hey, in version two, this would have said, hey, there's nothing pointing to this variable. It's never been used before, right? And we would have had a warning. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's, it, there are definitely some benefits. Definitely so, so, some things that are going to be okay later on, even though they're a little bit more annoying. But yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, man. Bye. Bye.